Well, the U.S. military tonight faces a new threat from Russia. Russia President Vladimir Putin says he's resuming long-range patrols by Russian bombers. Now, Putin's comments came as he deepened his anti-American alliance with communist China. It's an alliance the United States is watching with increasing concern. President Bush and Russian President Putin were all smiles in Maine last month. Weeks later, the Russian president took part in a summit of a different nature, with a decidedly different tone. One that may seem to put him at odds with the West. As helicopters fire rockets and aircraft scream overhead, an alliance grows stronger between the leaders of Russia, China, and a handful of former Soviet states. Collectively known as the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the group says its goal is stability in an oil and mineral-rich Central Asia. Western analysts, though, say the real motive is to put on a show of force against Western influence in the region. China and Russia have always tried to intimidate the United States, and in the past they've really not had the tools to do so. But through the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, they have founded an organization that is now known as the anti-NATO. And clearly they want to use this to establish a sphere of influence in Central Asia and to remove the presence of the United States. Putin wants to establish a more powerful Russian military, and cooperating with China is part of that strategy, offering a market worth billions for Russian hardware. Yet while Russia cozies up to China, Putin also faces a possible future competitor. We should also understand that, that Russia is in competition with China to a great degree. China also wants to exert its leadership over the same grouping of countries that comprise the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So this should be very interesting to watch. Another example of Russia's new assertiveness, a resumption of long-range flights by its bomber aircraft. Putin said 14 took off from Russian airfields Friday. Now, Russia, meanwhile, is a major weapons supplier to communist China. Beijing has spent billions of dollars buying advanced Russian aircraft, warships, and submarines. Well, communist China...